Hello, humans and non-humans alike, and go to every place to you. Today we are back on Star Trek Online, KDF Let's Play. And let us begin the new link. And we may be stuck in long loading screens. No! Oh yeah, I already freed my clock. <laughs> and if you didn't see what I just saw, that explains why I said that, there was a little thing in the loading screen about this, uh, season's things, and it had the brush fire thing with my clock. Alright. Well, time to go kick the Jemadar's ass. The Jem'Hadar will not likely be interested in negotiation. I'm afraid you'll have to fight your way through. Oh god, I rem now I remember we have to deal with fucking Neiman first. Anger pets what really do make my life Still, easier. The nice thing about Jem'Hadar is that you can always breed more. Neiman, shut up before I change my mind and just kill you. Seriously. I don't care anymore. I'll fucking exterminate this new link. There won't be anyone left alive to find out I did it either. Uh, to think, I will be the first Forta to meet the new Link. Wait, are my f are the uh, hanger pets leveling up? I mean, it doesn't look like it, but the stars are just popping up on them. I need to look that up. That is, it's for some reason, it's weirding me out, and I have no idea why. 
And forgive me for slow turning speed, but this ship is basically a bus. I'm flying a bus. This, there's honestly nothing I can do about it. Is something shooting at us from... All right, move in. Open fire! Oh, damn. Uh, I may have accidentally gone in. A little too close. Yep, this is just fun. Photonic shockwave. We're going down, we're taking everything with us. And uh it already engaged evasive maneuvers. Well, nothing I can do about it now. Oh man, having the Burrell Bird of Prey is such a good idea. Oh, there goes the uh, Orion Slaver ship. Warning, ship is under attack. Hull integrity below seventy-five percent. Return again for the attack. Alright then, now we get to beam down to deal with this damn, uh, what was his name, Laws? And I didn't realize it, but I was high enough level to equip. You have to admire this the devotion of the Jem'Hadar. Yay! They never seem to tire of throwing their lives away for the founders. Can I seriously kill this guy? His very existence annoys the shit out of me. There it is. It's even more beautiful than I imagined. Oh god, those to are think all changelings. My gods slumber below, dreaming in their link. Jed, I think if we got like a water vacuum, we could take care of this problem right now. And I think we have Jim Jahar. Fire! Personal shield losing power. Use stealth module for a second so I can security escort and it seems every time I click security escort I get that little lag now. That's honest, that's pretty new. Yes, I have a bot left. I wonder if this actually be a practical close range weapon in real life. See, Danny Trejo is a uh, host was hosting a show on Spike. I don't know if it's uh, not Spike. Um, the El Rey Network. I don't know if it's still on or not. Where they like make and test out a bunch of weapons. I really wish they tried that. Let's see if this thing is actually practical or not. El Rey Network. Damn, 
I thought I was in range to hit all of them from there. I guess not. And it killed you, jump down. So Sorry about this. Your gods really don't like you very much. Otherwise, they give you a little bit of mercy because shit. You're basically dying for nothing at this point. I'm scanning it, I'm scanning it. Get in. Damn, catch so white. It's almost Space sacrilegious opium. to have you here. I hope the founders will understand the necessity. And forgive me. Let me guess. If they order it, you'll try to fight me yourself or some shit? I do like the Jem'Hadar weapon, though. What is that? I know it's not a sword. It doesn't move like a sword would. This time I hope it hits them all. There we go. Maybe not all of them, but some of them. Yeah. Kill them all! Oh yes, and if you notice a change in my volume, I have heard recently that um, I am very loud on my videos. So I tried to lowering the microphone level to see if that would help. I don't want to blow off any of the ears or nothing. <laughs> no. Did I ever find this pads? <sighs> we were programmed to believe that the founders of God's infallible blades are going to question last order. Some of this explanation no longer makes sense. For example, we've been monitoring transmissions from local systems, and none of them have any mention of this crusade against the founders. One of my brother says he wants to. He went to a facility where Ketcher so wise manufactures. There's, there's a Vorta there. This Vorta is kept almost a prisoner and does not command the Jim Hadar there. Uh, damn. Poor Jim Hadar. I, I the honestly other feel Vorta bad for these guys. are going to be so envious when they hear about this. Oh my god, Neiman. Shut the fuck up. Or I will kill you. I don't give a shit if we have a treaty. We're gonna erase the records. Nobody else besides Klingon Command. Oh, no way. The fucking. Ah! That woman from fucking uh, Deep Space Nine knows. Never mind, we can't kill him. Fuck. Damn, I just thought of that. She's with the Federation. Damn. Okay, so no killing Eamon. Fuck. I was really hoping we could, too. Oh, Zolm knocked out. Probably shouldn't have activated that when it's still considered in combat. Alright, let's wake this one up. Oh wait, Valero's actually knocked out? Wow, that usually doesn't happen. Oh wait! No, wait. Her bat left is still slightly better than this one, I think. Yep. Yeah, it's still... 
Wait, why does she have 150 DPS and I have, uh... Oh, okay, no, I have 100. Okay, never mind. No, because when I was apparently, and I don't know why, but the damage values look different in space. Or when you're not fighting with the, or when you don't have all your bridge officers around, I don't know what it is. Get ready to open fire. <laughs> I'll put you all in fucking saran wrap. Have you come to finish the job of exterminating us, Solid? Yes, we're not here to hurt you. Impossible. We have linked with Loss. He is in the link as we speak. We know all that he knows. Then he's it lying to us. It is true that he awoke before us. Let us summon him to answer these charges. Yeah, yeah, we got one of your Vorta here too. It's true, Great One. These people are not hunting you. The Great Link remains. The Dominion has a treaty with the Alpha Quadrant species. This creature lies. You have joined with me. You know all that I know. Then you should have no qualms about linking. No. These solids have poisoned your minds. I will not be forced to link. By them. Okay, what's happening now? Uh. Oh. Okay, guess we're killing him now. Yay! Having it on my resume that I killed a god is definitely good. Okay, wait, let me get a security escort. Yeah, every time. Every time I use the damn thing. Okay, fire on my mark. What other abilities do I have that I haven't used recently? No, not damn. Trying to kill you with Batlet. Flanking damage detected. Enemy combatants in close proximity. And oh, great, he's in his giant form now. And I need to get the hell away from him because he's trying. He's he's seriously toxic at this stage. Please, uh, as much as I'd love to kill Neiman, I can't. Strike team. I keep forgetting I have some of these. <laughs> okay, yay, he's no longer in weird. Giant goo form. No poison cloud to save you now. I'm gonna beat you to death. Wait, if you're watching this, uh, look up the song X gonna give it to you and just play this while we're fighting. I can't do it because I don't get copyright. Oh, don't levitate with my guys, you bastard. Taking him out yet? No. Okay, now we're gonna push him, right? Hopefully. Nope. He doesn't really have anywhere to go, does he? Can't I just shoot him now?
Alright, how did you get injured? All of you are pretty badly injured. Wait, did he injure you during the fight? Although it is unfortunate we had to resort to violence to force Lost into his liquid form, we are grateful for your assistance. We shall now be able to link with him and learn the whole truth of our past. If you are telling the truth, you have nothing more to fear from us. But we request that you leave us in peace. We have no interest in dealing with your kind. Alright, we're getting off this crazy ass planet. With all you liquid people. Alright, Neiman, well, what the hell do you want? It has been a pleasure knowing you. I will remain here and serve the Founders. They have been without Avorta and have much to learn about their siblings in the Gamma Quadrant. I know the Founders may seem ungrateful to you, but what can you expect from a god? Still, you have my gratitude for whatever the gratitude of an insect. Alright, safe journeys. Now beam us up. I really don't want to deal with these things anymore. Jem Hadar Dreadnought. Although you have slain our brothers, we have orders to allow you to leave the system. But you are never to return. And let it be known among your peoples that this system belongs to us, and you are not welcome. Chill, dude, we know, we know. We're just gonna go put a beacon down to let everyone else know not to come here, and then we're gonna leave. I don't know, I think it could take all those ships. What do you guys think? Uh, no, I'm kidding. I'd get shredded. Launching beacon. And it won't do it while I'm moving, I guess. Okay, now configure beacon. And get me the hell out of here, please. Please. Okay, is there any way we can uh, configure that beacon to do a little bit of... Spy for work for us? At least let us know what ships are coming in and out. Congratulations! You have defeated the True Way and made peace with the Alpha Changelings. I have transmitted messages to the major powers of the galaxy, advising them to avoid the Araya system. I have one final request for you. Please return to DS9 at your convenience, so that I may thank you personally. Uh... I don't know what to pick, so I guess I'll do Chronoton Torpedoes. <laughs> oh wow, I honestly thought I'd level up from that. Okay, then uh, let's put it on the ship first. Yeah, I wanted to replace these things. Okay, um... Well, this is awkward. Eh, put him on. Chronoton projectile weapon, and I just put on the Chronoton projectile weapon. But it's also a torpedo, so it'll still get a boost from that. Okay, did I pick up anything else? Uh, yes, I picked up this thing. And it's not as good as what I got.
Okay, just a uh, quick making sure I don't have uh, anything good to switch out for things. And... See? See, it says 78.4 DPS in space. Alright, uh, let's go to DS9. And. Be thanked in person. I guess is what you wanted to do. Uh, but I don't have it on the. Okay, let's see, does it say here what mission's next? Second wave. Okay, uh... Incoming hail, second wave. Hail. My name is Commander Messi Achebe, and I was authorized by your High Council to contact you. By now, you've faced the Borg. The Collective is appearing with more frequency in the Alpha Quadrant now, and Defera is facing repeated attacks. We've been able to push them back so far, but we can't do it forever. Not without help. Starfleet is organizing a meeting on DS9 to discuss the Borg situation. Representatives from Starfleet, the Cardassians, and the Deferi will be present. Your Chancellor is sending a representative as well. We want you to be there to represent the Klingon forces fighting the Collective. We have our differences. But some problems are simply too big to ignore. Now, when it comes to the Borg, I have to agree with you. They're a fucking nuisance, is what the damn things are. Anyway. And we're right there, so I'm probably not even gonna bother cutting this out. Stop! 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 Begin second wave. See her in ops. Him, her. Wait, who is Commander Andrews? I completely forgot. Wait, I can actually request ships and shuttles here? Uh, first, may I want to change into off duty at least. So. You know what? Fuck it. Nope. Staying. Staying with regular armor. I may have to kill people at this peace conference. Never be too careful. Oh, I should probably see if those are better than what I got right now. Yeah, I'm not selling those one at a time. Very much. Okay, and I don't need none of your Federation crap. Fuck phasers, I got disruptors. And occasionally plasma. Wait, do I get any different ships from here? Or is it just the same stuff? Nope, just the same. Okay, just checking on it. Attend this conference. Okay, but first we have to talk to Andrews. All right, let's just go to operation. And okay, just quickly check in to make sure it's actually recording. 
Wait, I was supposed to talk to Andrews. Okay, yeah. Welcome to DS9. I'm Commander Karen Andrews, Captain Carlin's first officer. He asked me to inform you that he has been delayed dealing with an incident in Cargo Bay 3. Also, I must remind you, you are here as our guest. I don't expect any trouble, but it never hurts to remind someone about the rules. Our people were allies once. That may not be the case now, but at the very least we can be civil to one another. Yes, yes, civil. Of course I'll be civil, as long as I'm supposed to be. You're asking me to schmooze? Really? Really? Alright, who's the closest? I'm looking forward to the conference and what your government has to say about the Borg. While I agree the Borg are indeed a threat, I'm not entirely clear as to what you expect the Ditapa Council to do about it. Military aid, what do you think? If you will remember. We dismantled our military after the Dominion War, and only maintain a small force for planetary defense. Those ships you may have seen were stolen from my government by the true way. Regrettably, Starfleet has yet to put a stop to their campaign of terror. Fine, you can still send supplies. Being here on Deep Space Nine reminds me of my mentor, Gul Mavek, who was stationed here during the Dominion occupation. During his time here, he came across a peculiar drink, but Joran distilled Kanar. Apparently, during the Cardassian occupation, the soldiers wanted their favorite libation, but there was not enough Kanar in the shipments from home. So these resourceful young officers conscripted a group of Bajorans, mostly like from the religious houses, to distill Kanar for them. The Kanar from Bajor has a different color and flavor from the best Cardassian vintages because of the local ingredients used in its distillation. Nevertheless, many of the officers who drank it developed quite a taste for this Bajoran pleasure. It is impossible to find a similar vintage on Cardassia Prime, and I want to present a bottle to my mentor and friend, Gul Mavek, upon my return to the homeworld. We get it, it we already know you. It means so much to him, and I would be most grateful to anyone who could assist me in this small task. Well, since I'm about to trying to get a peace talks going, I may as well get you your damn alcohol. Uh, thank you, but I walk elsewhere, I guess. Uh, shady merchant, that's hilarious. May the prophets bless you. We await the word of the Emissary. Many among the Bajoran religious caste were forced to distill Kanar during the Cardassian occupation. The very appearance of Bajoran distilled Kanar brings up memories of a dark time. Uh, I'm sorry if I've offended you, buddy. Yeah, I assume they probably were whipping you while they were making you make their booths. Mm, the house always wins. Okay. Do Need you have something, friend? A wise man can hear profit in the wind. Uh, 
then... Yeah, I still haven't found the booze. Oh, and you're Ambassador Seraph. Greetings. My name is Seraph, and I speak for the Deferi. Until recently, my people isolated ourselves from the rest of the galaxy in an attempt to remain neutral. We seek balance in all things, and therefore choose not to take sides in conflicts that do not concern us. The Borg, however, threaten everyone. My own world has been scarred by the Collective. I look forward to hearing your thoughts about how we can deal with the Borg when the conference convenes. A lot of fucking guns. Ah, damn it. Except... Greetings. My name is Seraph. While I recently completed a diplomatic mission to Cardassia Prime, I must admit I never developed a taste for... Now I have to find this person's damn entertainment suite. Really? The hell? I guess that's what you use gold latinum for. Need something, friend? Opportunity plus instinct equals profit. A Ferengi without profit is no Ferengi at all. Why does this feel like I have a grain of wheat and I'm trying to trade up to fucking feast? Uh... Oh dear god, is he just planning a fucking orgy or something? <laughs> Why do I have to do this schmoozing? Okay, she definitely doesn't want to deal with that. Now I have to find a buyer for this guy. Seriously? <sighs> Do I have the option of just shooting all of these people, taking control of their military forces and launching them against the Borg so I don't have to deal with them? Yeah, what the hell is a self-sealing seam bolt? Do you want a self-sealing stem bolt? Ah, oh, God. Is the kill everyone option still available? Please tell me the kill everyone option is still available. I know it isn't, but just someone tell me. Oh, may as well scan this up in here. At least, this, at least this won't have me running around doing air and fucking diplomats. Hey, Stas, how are you doing? Ah, I was informed you would be here as well. Welcome to the home of your enemy. I recommend you listen to what Starfleet has to say. But never forget, this is not friendly ground. 
Oh, I know this is not friendly ground. Don't worry, I'm keeping my blasters close. How fortunate. We have an opportunity here. There is time to gather valuable intelligence about Starfleet's operations on this station. You and I will be under too much scrutiny from Commander Andrew's little pets to accomplish much. Your crew, however, may be able to learn a great deal without anyone noticing. I agree with that assessment. Why do I have to pick this option? Can't I just have my crew do some spy work? I mean, shit, I got two levels in espionage. That might help. Doing some spy work could actually be better than just fucking running around this place catering to the whims of annoying diplomats. Who most of them I want to shoot. Or stab. I have bat left with me. I can cut them. Not that way, this way. Captain Vakel Sean. Greetings. I'm Captain Valkel Sean. I've heard a lot about you. It's good to finally meet. Yeah, you're just lucky this isn't in space where I can kill I'm you. I'm glad there's someone else here who's faced the Borg in battle. We have a perspective the rest of these full-time diplomats don't. I've actually only fought Borg once. <laughs> and that was in a random encounter, a deep space encounter. How many do you have? My chief engineer has been looking for stem bolts for weeks. He wants to do some upgrades to the Belfast, and the Defiant class has always been a little touchy. We've made inquiries with several traders, but everyone we talked to dumped their inventories after the speculation bubble burst. Some Ferengi out there made a small fortune a few months ago cornering the stem bolt market, but now that supply is gone. I was hoping to find some here, but so far I haven't had the chance. If you know of a source, my crew could make the upgrades we need without having to find it. Sorry to trouble you again, but Captain Curlin is wrapping up the problem in the cargo bay, and we will be able to begin the talks very soon. I've notified the other attendees, but our opening speaker isn't responding to hails. Could you please track him down for me? Admiral Zavglach Trem mentioned wanting someplace quiet. You might try the upper promenade or the temple. All right. Greetings. I'm glad there's someone else. Oh, I found your seller for your buyer for self sealing stem bolts. Oh, let me do that as optional stuff first, I guess. Wait, this way. I'm surprised you don't just have a crate buried here, hidden here somewhere. Yep. Need something, friend? A wise man can hear profit, opportunity plus instinct equals profit. The riskier the road, a Ferengi without profit is no Ferengi. I know it's a scam, but I seriously just don't want to talk to them anymore, and I'm probably never going to use gold press latinum. Greetings. My name is Sarah, and I speak wonderful. Most of the holo technology on Defera is used for training or utilitarian purposes, so I don't have many chances to use a holo suite for entertainment. Thank you for your assistance. Oh, uh, I went through plenty of trouble, but I probably shouldn't say anything. And uh, still no idea on where to help to find that, uh... Evil Cardassian <laughs> That slave labor made Cardassian drink.
Maybe I should look for some frying gears or something. How about you, Pog? Mm, nope. 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 I mean, I was just in the bar, so... Not there. I'm surprised he doesn't have just, like, a bottle hiding un under the thing or something. I'm looking forward. If you will... And that's just, a uh, costume changing. Let's just go here then. I guess this is the temple. Well, it looks religious enough. Oh, wait, is that supposed to be one of the orb, the prophet things? My apologies, both to you and Commander Andrews. It's not often that I get some time to myself these days. Captain Curland offered me the use of his office, but I came here instead for some peace and quiet. Peace. It's in far too short of supply these days. I've been in Starfleet for a long time. I've seen more battles than I care to remember. But this one, there's no reasoning with the Borg. There's no chance for a non-violent solution. I only hope that we can unite before they come for us. No one is safe. Hey, right, looks like I found him. And I don't think I can find wherever the hell your booze are, so I'm ignoring that. No, I want to see if there's some do some espionage ops for dealing with this stuff. Execute change and spy. Nope. Damn. Ah, I was hoping there was something I could do here. Let's, uh, well, since I'm already here, may as well check. See if there's anything I can safely do. I usually only assign people to task if they're uh, below 20% ch chance of failure. Poker game? Sure! Alright, let's get this over with. Stas? Do I get to kill people? Welcome, everyone. I'm so pleased that you all agreed to join us here today. As many of you are all too aware, the Borg attacks are increasing. If they are left unchecked, Starfleet predicts that the entire Alpha Quadrant could fall within three years. We all must work together to push these invaders out of our space and protect our homes and families. I do not agree. My empire will stand, with or without your assistance. The Klingon Empire has never been stronger than it is right now. I dare the Borg to challenge us. Starfleet may cower in fear before a bunch of machines, but we do not. Stas, I'm sure what the esteemed ambassador from the Klingon Empire meant to say is that he hopes we are all so crippled by our efforts to stop the Borg, we will be no match for a battle-hardened Klingon fleet. 
I do not want to be assimilated, but I don't want to be a servant to the Klingon Empire either. The Deferi believe that all things must be in balance. We cannot counter the Borg threat if we ourselves are counter to one another. The Deferi do not wish to act against any of you. Therefore, should this meeting not reach a consensus, our best course of action is to not act at all. Starfleet will do what it must to protect the Federation. However, if you want our assistance, you need to be willing to protect yourselves and contribute to this campaign. The Borg will be stronger if any of your civilizations are assimilated. Starfleet's hard at work developing new technology and tactics. We, at least, will be ready. And if we can't cooperate, I hope you don't suffer. And that we develop new weapons in time. This is getting us nowhere. We came together in the spirit of cooperation. We need to find common ground. Okay, so I should talk to the Deferi last. Now, did you have something you wanted to add to this discussion? Uh... Ambassador Stark. Be careful. You are dangerously close to insulting the honor of the Cleon Empire. Hey, I'm a part of the Klingon Empire. I, I don't want to piss off Stas. Uh, Do not presume to know what our honor demands. The Empire's pursuit of honor does not mean we are compelled to fight other people's battles. Why am I talking against him? Seriously, this whole thing is structured as if I'm some impartial representative. Me and Stas should be able to come to some kind of agreement here. We're both on part of the KDF here. We're both Klingon. Part of the Klingon Empire. Uh. Full strength. Ah! The might of the Klingon Empire can stand against the entire galaxy. Let them come. Uh... Yeah, let's pick that one. He, he might be a little... Do not dictate strategy to me. The Klingon Empire values strength. We stepped in to defend the Deferi once. Because we owe them. Now, did you have something you wanted to add to this discussion? Uh. Cardassia Prime is still rebuilding from the Dominion War. We have achieved a great deal in the past decades, but there is still much more to do. The continued threat of the true way makes progress difficult. It would be best I will protect my home until my last breath. My people do not need to be distracted by having to concern ourselves with all of you. Perhaps keeping ourselves separate is the best protection we could have. Ah, uh, damn. I guess if we had given him the fucking alcohol, he would have apparently been, uh... You may think Cardassia is weak. You are wrong. We will... Now, did you have something you wanted to add to this discussion? Starfleet will do everything we can to protect the Federation and its allies. However, there are too many drains on our resources and a limited number of ships. Under dire circumstances, Starfleet may be forced to pull back from protecting all life to a position where we can defend only the core worlds. I hope it doesn't come to that. Yay! If it does, he actually however, did his side the mission, needs of so the many must this. outweigh the needs of the few. Yeah, you guys can't be everywhere. Starfleet recognizes the Borg threat in all life in the Alpha Quadrant. We've lost too much already. We cannot lose anymore. Eventually, we'll all need to put our differences aside and unite in opposition to the Borg okay, or anyone else who shows chaos and destruction. And nobody else. Our governments have Great. had their differences. But the fight against the Borg is more important. And if the Iconians attack, they could make the Borg seem like a minor inconvenience. Now, did you have something you wanted to add to this discussion? 
That's maintaining just balance with all things must be our primary concern. Uh, I guess bottom one. Balance comes in many forms. It may be our time. Let's take a quick recess to cool off. And that's funny. I don't remember anyone being scheduled to fly through the wormhole today. What the fuck? That's your response? It should be GET DOWN! What the fuck? Is that a Jem'Hadar fleet? There's something coming out of the wormhole. Captain, it's a Dominion fleet. They're charging weapons. Red alert. Oh, shit. Well, looks like the Jem'Hadar are making a move. Jem'Hadar boarding the station. Get the delegates out of here! Fuck the delegates! I'm getting to my ship. We have to killing get ship. out of here. <gasps> oh, there goes the old dude. Go, Stas. It is time to leave. And that's it for this episode. Evac protocol Alpha. Andrews, get everyone to shuttles. Prep the Defiant for launch. I'll blast it. The Jimadar have cut off access to ops. Well, that's it for this episode. Uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe if you like and want to comment, subscribe. And remember to follow me on Twitter for channel updates. Goodbye, humans and non-humans alike, and good replies to you.